Hey guys, welcome back to the Tech Collective channel. Today's video promises to be an interesting one, and it shall be taking a new dimension. We'll be taking a look at two of the biggest factories in the world, which are the Tesla Fremont factory and Nevada Gigafactory, both connected to the world's richest man, Elon Musk. At the end of this video, you'll realize one of the reasons why Elon Musk is that rich. Before we continue, press the subscribe button and bell icon for regular updates. Number 1. Tesla Fremont Factory It produces automobiles from Fremont, California, and it's owned by Tesla Incorporated. The factory was formerly known as General Motors Fremont Assembly and later New United Motor Manufacturing Incorporation before Tesla took over its ownership in 2010. The plant manufactures Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y. The factory is estimated to cost more than $51.3 million. In 2011, Tesla made a giant stride by moving from 20 hand-assembled Alpha builds with all the production being done at Tesla's factory. The cars produced or assembled can be used for system integration, engineering testing, and so on. The first production was revealed at an event held at the Tesla factory on June 22, 2012. Production increased from 15 to 20 per week and increased to 200 by November. By December 2012, it grew to 400, showing the efficiency in production. The manufacturing of Tesla Model S produced by the factory is fascinating. The manufacturing process includes using 10 unique robots that were named after X-Men characters. You might remember Wolverine and Professor from the X-Men series. The car components include the battery pack, battery module, and drive units, which are all produced by Tesla themselves. The majority of the car parts came from North America and Japan as of 2015. The majority of Tesla Model S body is made from aluminum. Commodity cells, which are found in laptops and mobile phones, can be found in the car's battery. The liquid subtle battery makes use of a gel to aid fireproofing and to ensure even heat distribution. The total weight of the aluminum used in the Model S is around 410 pounds. The car is raised and the drive unit is installed into the rear axle assembly, and this drive unit provides power directly to the wheels without a drive shaft. The battery pack is 1,200 pounds, which is equivalent to 540 kilograms. This is delivered to the installing area and is raised into the car using a lift. Positioning the battery under the cabin floor gives strength and rigidity to the car and decreases the vehicle's center of gravity to 18 inches. There is a titanium plate over the battery pack which protects it in the event of high-speed collision and also to protect it from debris. It will interest you to know that it takes two to three months to assemble a vehicle, but in special circumstances, the vehicle gets assembled between three to five days. Three to five days to assemble a vehicle? Incredible! The company also prefers to deliver its car by truck as the occurrence of damage is minimal and the cost is less. This is one of the largest manufacturing employees in California with Tesla stimulating $5.5 billion in sales and generated $4.1 billion in 2017. They also created 51,000 jobs in that particular year. Tesla's aim is to ensure that the workforce is acquainted with the company's production processes while taking a proactive approach to safety. Therefore, the production keeps rising while they maintain the safety of their workers. Tesla, like we all know, produces the vehicle's parts itself, which is highly unusual in the automobile industry. They work with 300 suppliers in the world, of which 50 are from North California and 10 in the San Francisco Bay Area. Tesla's dashboard supplier rents a massive building of 142,188 square feet near the factory. Other suppliers like Eclipse Automation and Futurist Automotive Group have also followed suit, opening facilities close to Tesla. The vehicle seats are produced in Tesla's own seat factory, which is a few miles south of the main factory. The efficiency of Tesla is there for all to see. Last year, during the pandemic, 
Tesla made efforts to mitigate or prevent the spread of the virus in its factories located at Shanghai and Fremont, and it was no surprise to see the Shanghai factory return to operation as soon as February 10th. Number 2. Nevada Gigafactory It is a lithium-ion battery and electronic vehicle component factory located in Story County, Nevada. A lithium-ion battery is a rechargeable battery commonly used for portable electronics and electronic vehicles. The factory is owned by the Tesla Corporation, and it produces the battery being used in the production of the company's electronic vehicles. The Gigafactory is situated at the Tahoe Reno Industrial Center and has around 7,000 employees as of 2018, and it's the company's hope that it will employ more. The Gigafactory is situated on True North, which will make it easy to be spotted by GPS, and there are solar panels on the roof. It was designed to be energy self-reliant. The Gigafactory idea was said to have been started in 2013, and they had investigated close to 100 sites which would become the base of their operations. So, in 2014, it was reported that Panasonic had come to an agreement with Tesla to invest in a factory. The reported investment was said to have been around $5 billion. Thus, the estimated cost of the building is $5 billion. Tesla considered a lot of locations for its new factory before they eventually settled for Tahoe Reno Industrial Center, TRIC. A manager of Reno Tahoe International Airport offered them the 3,000 available acres at Reno Stead Airport and convinced the TRIC owner to split the bill, which would allow a private jet to fly Tesla people to the area for inspection. Tesla owns the land and building, and due to the size of the factory, it leases parts of the building to suppliers. The factory is under the control of a management team headed by Jens Peter Clausen, who is the vice president of Gigafactory at Tesla. By the first quarter of 2016, the factory already had 369 workers, 317 from Tesla and 52 from Panasonic. By the end of 2019, Panasonic had 2,000 Japanese workers and 300 Japanese workers in the factory. The factory started production in 2016, making use of battery cells which are produced elsewhere, unlike Tesla, right? It began a massive production of cells in January 2017. The factory was to provide the handling of batteries, that is, from raw material components to finished ones, and they also recycle old batteries to make new ones. Cells account for most of the production, while packing and electronics are minor parts. Tesla values production more than the product itself, and it is no surprise that they had more engineers to develop production equipment than developing the product itself. The HVAC is situated between the floors rather than on walls or ceilings of a floor. All of the steel is from the United States. The battery cells produced at the factory are known as the New Form Factor 2170, which are jointly designed by Tesla and Panasonic. These cells are larger than the cells used in Model S and Model X automobiles. These cells are 21 millimeters by 70 millimeters. This is the reason why Tesla refers to it as 2170, while Samsung calls the same model 21700. Tesla uses nickel manganese cobalt NMC lithium cells for stationary storage, while it uses nickel cobalt aluminum oxide for vehicles. The cell components are enveloped in aluminum cans being produced by Heitkamp and Thuman. The meticulousness in production is top-notch and laudable. For instance, a report made in 2019 revealed that half a million battery cells were destroyed each day due to defects in production, which must have stemmed from carelessness, not complying with operating procedures, and the overwhelming impulse to increase output. In October 2015, Tesla relocated the Tesla Powerwall and Powerpack production from the Fremont factory to the Gigafactory. 2170 cells are moved on autonomous vehicles from Panasonic to Tesla, where cells are assembled into packs by workers and robots. On the 30th of April 2015, Elon Musk made an announcement to the effect that the factory will be changing its name from Gigafactory to Gigafactory 1, as Tesla intends on building more of such factories in the future. 
The reason behind this might not be unconnected to Musk's assertion that other companies would build their own gigafactories. After receiving $800 million of orders, $179 million for Powerwall, $625 million for Powerpack, within the space of one week of its unveiling, Musk estimated that the Gigafactory 1 is not enough to supply demand. It is Tesla's mission to hasten the world's transition to sustainable energy via increasingly affordable electric vehicle and energy products. The Tesla Gigafactory is a child of necessity and will supply enough batteries to meet Tesla's demand. As of today, Gigafactory produces Model 3 electric motors and battery packs, in addition to Tesla's energy storage products, Powerwall and Powerpack. Around mid-2018, battery production at Gigafactory 1 reached roughly 20 gigawatts per hour, making it the highest volume battery maker in the world. Currently, it produces more batteries in terms of kilowatts per hour than all other car makers combined. This is where I shall be putting a stop to this video, which I know you must have enjoyed. Kindly like this video and share and subscribe to this YouTube channel.